What is up everybody? Random Random Man here, aka RRM, bringing you another rapid movie review, aka RMR, and it is for Bardo, False Chronicle of a Handful of Truths. Now the plot of this epic black dramedy basically follows a journalist slash documentarian played by Daniel Jimenez Gacho, who returns to his native country of Mexico and begins having an existential crisis in the form of dreamlike visions. And speaking of visions, this is the latest effort from visionary filmmaker and five-time Academy Award winner Alejandro González Iñárritu. Orale, way! Sorry, my inner Mexican just came out there. But setting that aside, I am a big fan of his filmography, especially his last two efforts before Bardo, which were Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance, and The Revenant. And this film joins a few other films from this year that have taken a semi-autobiographical approach in telling their narratives, such as James Gray's Armageddon Time and Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans, with this film film Bardo being more fantastical in its approach and execution. Now that this film has been released on Netflix, I was able to watch it. We have Daniel Jimenez Cacho as Silverio. Now, I've previously seen him as the lead of the feature directorial debut of Alfonso Cuaron, Solo con tu pareja, or Only with your partner. And I really liked him in that film, and I also really liked him in Bardo. Aside from it being clear that González Iñárritu is manifesting his own self into the character of Silverio, I think that Jiménez Gacho does a lot with what this character is trying to do in navigating a midlife crisis and also leading up to him receiving this award for his work. He is in basically every scene of this movie, whether we see him on a more grounded level with interactions with his families and also some of the more surreal aspects that the movie emphasizes with the vision of Gonzalez Iñárritu, as he did not just direct this film, he also produced edited, co-composed, and co-wrote it, having a lot of other factors like the modern and way past history of Mexico being pulled in here, some of which I did know about. This film is dense, and I will say that it did suffer under its own weight of ambition at times to where there are moments that played out and could have been cut down. The running time of this movie without the end credits is two and a half hours, and that was already pared down from a different longer cut that premiered at Venice. One huge strength that this movie does have going for it is the overall design and aesthetic. The cinematography was done by Darius Kanji, who, speaking of Armageddon Time from earlier, shot that movie too, but I think this is the superior of the two works because there are so many sprawling scenes that we get here in terms of some open landscapes, also seeing the production design come together. A lot of long takes are implemented here, and I think that with the experience that we have here, it also being an exercise in existentialism, it all combines together to to be something that is not easy to dissect. When the film eventually gets into its final 20 minutes or so, there is a significant revelation that recontextualizes the narrative. And I think that ultimately, this is a film that sprawls and speaks on identity, specifically with, of course, what uh, Gonzalez Iñárritu does with his own Mexican identity. Also for myself specifically at times in watching it, being uh, of Mexican descent. This film is the official submission from Mexico for the Best International Feature Film Oscar. And like the director's other works, this is not going to be for everyone. But for me, in seeing the ambition that was done here, I always applaud that. I think there is enough within this film to have me give it a recommendation. With that, my final verdict for Bardo, False Chronicle of a Handful of Truths, is three and a half out of five stars. Thank you all, as always, for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment on what you thought of Bardo, False Chronicle of a Handful of Truths, social media links in the description, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll catch you on the next movie review.